Hello everybody. So in this video, I am, well, we are going to analyze diodes in a circuit. And in this question, it states, given the following circuit, determine the output voltage when the voltage source, when the voltage source is equal to 4 volts and when the voltage source is equal to negative 4 volts. And in this circuit, as you can see, we have two diodes, one diode connected to the positive terminal of the voltage source and also another diode connect, connected to the negative terminal of the voltage source. And the output voltage is where um, R3 is. And R3 is 4 ohms and R3 can also be considered as the load. R2 is 3 ohms and R1 is 2 ohms. So we have to calculate what the output voltage is given these two respective uh, situations. So let's start off with uh, when it is in positive 4 volts. So for that, the current is going to travel to here. It's going to travel out from here and in this direction. And this current can only be traveled if this diode is facing the right direction. And in this case, it is facing the right, right direction because uh, this current that is flowing into this direction is uh, called uh, forward bias. So it can go through this diode, and meaning that this diode is turned on. And essentially, this current is going to travel through R1, through this diode, and then R2, and then it enters this particular node. And it can enter two different, two different paths. It can go through this path or down to, th to this path. And understanding the laws of diodes, it has to travel to the ground through R3. And the reason being is because it cannot travel through this node to this wired since this diode is blocking it. And this is how it would look like. This diode would be open and this diode would be closed, turned on. And since we are able to uh, fully identify where the current is traveling to, we can calculate the current and then determine what our output voltage is. So our current is equal to our voltage source divided by the resistance and the voltage voltage source is 4 divided by 9 therefore our current is 4 over 9 amps our output voltage is equal to that current that we calculated multiplied by the load which is 4 so 4 over 9 times 4 and what we get is 16 over 9 volts and that is our output voltage when our voltage source is equal to 4 volts. Now I'm going to erase this and then we're going to find out what happens if the voltage source is negative 4 volts. So if the voltage source is, is in negative 4, the current is going to travel this direction. It's going to travel this direction. But what we do know is that it is negative and current travels from a higher potential to a lower potential. But continuing on, uh, so the current travels to this direction and this diode would be turned on. So this current goes through this node. Now it has two paths. One path will lead us to this, uh, will, lead us, will lead it to go through R2 and then another path would make it lead through R3, but if it leads through R3, the current would have to change direction because the ground is at a higher potential at which uh, this negative is. Don't, do you guys see? So the situation is which current would it go? Well, Here's a problem. The problem is, is that the current cannot go either paths. 
because if the current goes through R2, uh, this diode will be blocking it. So we can't assume that the current is going to go through here. Now, if the current is flowing through this wire, then the current is basically not going to flow through this direction, but flow from the ground. And then it tries to flow through here, but it cannot because this diode is blocking it. And because this diode is blocking it, no current could travel anywhere when the voltage source is equal to negative 4 volts. And this is how our circuit is going to look like in that particular situation. There's no current, and since there's no current flowing through this 4 ohms, the output voltage is going to be 0 volts. Pretty tricky, right? But the only thing that we need to understand is that the current has to travel uh, at the direction at which, you know, the diode is facing. And the rest is history. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you in the near future.